Good evening to everyone and to our uh, fellow worshippers in other parts of the world. Sometimes we tend to uh, oppose to the old Mosaic law summarized in the Ten Commandments with the new law of the Gospel which finds its greatest expression in the so-called Beatitudes. It seems to us that Christ himself gives us the reason to do it, who says that it is not, for example, in one instance, he himself declared that Sabbath, that human beings are not made for the Sabbath, but the Sabbath for humans. And also Paul, for example, in his uh, controversy with, uh, with the law in the name of faith and grace, which today also reflects the contrast between the written law that kills and the spirit that gives life. But Jesus, when we see Jesus after proclaiming the Beatitudes, seems to deny this impression or sometimes our claim. Isn't there a certain contradiction here? Isn't uh, true that uh, the gospel of love and grace has made the old law with its many prescriptions obsolete? Or are we to understand that the good news of Jesus Christ adds to the old law and leaving it intact? What does it mean, in short, to give fullness? Because that is what the gospel today claims as a contribution to this law of all. In order to understand this tension and apparent contradictions, I think it is good not to stay on the letter or the words, but to look at them in the context of all the preaching and action of Jesus and also in the way in which this was understood in the early church and uh, certainly St. Paul is an authority here taking something to the full means reaching a perfection that exceeds but also preserves what is to be perfected. If the best expression of the Mosaic law is the Ten Commandments by which we recognize God, respect, and do good to those closest to us and refrain from doing evil to anyone, all these demands reach their perfection in the law of love for God and neighbor. And that perfection and fullness we discover in Jesus, in Jesus Christ, who has told us in a definitive way who God is, his Father and also our Father. And who is our neighbor? not only the closest ones, meaning father, mother, brothers, and uh, the relatives, but all human beings, children of God, the father of all, and especially those who are in need. So if perfection of the law is love, we can understand that at times, Certain ritual perfect, 
prescriptions such, such as the Sabbath law, for example, have to yield to the demand to do good to the needy that seems to contravene the prescription of the Sabbath. How then to understand the apparent legalism contained in the demand not to skip just one of the less important precepts? Seen from this centrality of the new covenant, the new commandment rather, we understand it in the sense that true love is not limited only to doing good in general and broadly, but it goes down to the smallest details, delicately attends to the specific person in their real needs, no matter how insignificant one or the other may see. The uh, perfection of the law or the fulfillment of the law that is an obedience to the law that Jesus emphasizes is of course fulfilled in the commandment of love. In our following of Jesus we are again invited to see our attitude in this fulfillment of the law of love that uh, the Lord invites us to recognize our calling to uh, fulfill this law and this law as we have said can only be fulfilled to its perfection in love. We ask the Lord the strength to be faithful to Him, especially in this, in the fulfillment of our calling as children of God, living out this commandment of love. Amen.